Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Uh, right here today, I have the stator that we used last time. I had to take it all apart. I had magnets come loose. No more playing with epoxy. I'm going straight to uh, fiberglass resin. What I did is tape the bottom down here all the way around and let it come up to touch the magnets. Then I took another piece of tape which I cut in half. And you can see right here, basically that level right there is where the other piece of tape came up to and I figured I better get it up above the top here. I cleaned these all up and got them all set in again and we're ready to pour this. I have to mix this up. What I have here is a Gatorade jug, a drink jug that I cut in half. I think that's more than enough to fill up the air volume inside here. And in the lid, I carefully cut a triangle, or you can drill a hole, burn a hole with a soldering iron if you want. Whichever way you find is safe and makes a hole about that size so it'll pour nice and slow. That'll keep the air out. I can pour it between each of the magnets and here and here. You're going to put your resin in here and then you're going to put a little bit of hardener in here. And when you go to mix, basically the edges never really mix with the hardener. And you're going to have bubbles in there that are soft. So pouring out of the container rather than trying to scoop out and put it in there, basically just dragging the edge and getting resin that's not mixed with hardener. Pouring it down somewhat of a funnel like this and having it flow really makes a nice easy way. As a matter of fact, I can even set this inside here like this and hold it. And by the angle that I go, I can tell how fast I want it to come out. Okay, I'm back. And basically, I poured about that much, just enough to come up to the crown here. I figure that's going to be more than I need. It might be less. I can always mix more. But I figure for the volume that I have down here all the way around, probably takes up about that much. And then I look at my hardener. Well, I figure I'm gonna have to use about that much because that's basically in proportion percentage of how much I'm gonna need. That's a good easy way to figure out. They give you just enough to take care of all of that. So let's add some in and let's mix it up. Go. That much, that ought to do well. I want to mix this pretty thorough. You notice it's not very thick, really. If your restaurant style watered down syrup can flow out a small hole, then so can't this. So you make sure your tape doesn't have any creases in it that are pretty bad. There we go. take this and lay it off the edge of my desk over here not that the top isn't already ruined okay now I'm gonna put a little in here I'm gonna guide it I'm gonna put my hand over here on the side to guide it I'm kind of having to work at an awkward angle due to the camera let's see what it's doing first that's pretty good Oop, too much too much there we go let it fill that hole that's what I want. Keep it over the holes between the magnets. There we go. Might have made a little bit too big of a hole. It's alright. I'm going to have a mess to clean up. I'm pretty sure of that one. Back to the hole. Back over here. I don't want this to flow off the outside of my ring. What's on top of the ring, I'm going to wind up having to carve off or file off or whatever. Because that would get in the way of the other half of the motor. And maybe a little smaller of a disc. And maybe not working on camera. <laughs> this stuff's starting to get a little bit warm. Alright, which means I probably need to get it in here. Yep, keep it turning. Come to a hole. There you go. Keep my hand against the side helps me keep it guided and in one position. That seems to be working out okay. I don't see any lake leaks in the tape yet. So I guess that's a good one. Pour a little more off in here. Like I 
I said, I can always mix a little more. Looks like she's flowing slow. Yeah, it's because it's all getting warm. I need to get it in here. Put it all. Any way I can get it in here. <laughs> Fiberglass resin is curing up a little. I might have used a little bit too much hardener. It's okay. I have more. Let's get that to go down inside. Stretch it across here. No, it's already too hard to play with. It's gelling up. Well, I need another Gatorade jug. Oh, it don't look like I have air underneath my magnets as I look at it. Good, I won't need much. Okay, well, in the time it took me to cut another one out, well, there you go. Jeez. Not all that solid. Maybe I ought to stick it real good over here. Ooh, that side's hot. Yeah, it's pretty hard. <laughs> anyway, that's enough to run the Sterling engine. I don't know that. All right, we're going to add a little more in here. I want to get this right up under that edge because I really don't want any drip gluing my cap back on. I think I only need about that much. Tell you what, playing around making videos on YouTube teach you how to do things backwards. Working on the other side. Get over here. You ain't going nowhere. And you up. All right, we're gonna put in about. Yeah, that's probably gonna heat up a little quick. Let's get to mixing. Same stick. Probably pretty good right there. Yeah. Okay. A little down in that one, fill it up down here, down here, down here, down here. Just turn it nice and even and smooth. There we go. I think I about got it all filled. Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Right here, I've been using this file, just kind of laying it on with the magnet weight. Kind of lays across the outer edge of the band. It has angle this way and angle this way. So, angle this way and angle this way. So, hmm, looks like I'm hitting the edge of that. Yeah, that's not a good one. I guess filing in is the best way. But anyway, it's all done nice and smooth and even. I rub my finger on all the uh, string things from the cheap masking tape. And I'll tell you what, it really stuck. <laughs> but you notice the surface of my magnets are pretty clean here. I don't think I'm really going to worry about it. As uh, long as it clears the stator, and I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, I have an eighth inch gap there. Anyway, there we are. A poured stator set up, ready to go. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. See right here, I guess it filled the top and didn't get through. That's probably when it was starting to get pretty hard, uh, getting pretty thick. Anyway, I went ahead and painted everything. Just pour some down in there. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. I'm loving it.